Man, I woke up this morning. It's like 26 degrees, I think. Uh, it is uh, the first week of April, end of the first week of April. And uh, it was cold, uh, pretty cold. So uh, my camp is actually a camper uh, right now. We just got this property. I'm actually standing towards the back of my property here. And right behind me here is uh, National Forest, which makes it convenient. But uh, being that it was cold, it's a perfect opportunity to do a review. Uh, so I understand that there's a lot of reviews on a lot of the same uh, equipment out there. If you're anything like me, uh, I appreciate the reviews. I really do because uh, I work hard for my money. So when I decide I want to purchase something, the more reviews, the better. That way I, I have a good idea of what it is I'm purchasing uh, before I actually buy it. So uh, I have owned puffy coats in the past, uh, puffy jackets, whatever you want to call them. Uh, there's a lot of different brands out there though. The previous brand I owned was actually for uh, like a ski type jacket uh, And I hated it absolutely hated it. I wore it once uh, Snowboarding and it was cold in the morning. It got to be about 40 degrees in the afternoon and Due to the fact that I spent a lot of my time uh, Laying on my back or my front depending on which way I fall. I was soaked by midday uh, It was a down filled coat uh, I am not 100% against down, but I don't prefer it. I rather sacrifice a little bit of weight uh, just to make sure that I'll be good no matter if I get wet or not. So, puffy coats. This here is from Kafaro International. Uh, it is their version of the puffy jacket. It's called the Lost Park Parka. Uh, I did a lot of research and you know was looking around. I wanted something extremely durable, something extremely warm. Uh, comfortable, but that would pack down fairly small. So after looking around, uh, I decided to go with this. Now my first impressions, as soon as I pulled it out of the box, feeling that it was so light, uh, I'm like, there's no way this can be durable. So more I looked at it, more I started playing with it. I mean, this thing is tough as nails. I mean, really for a, as thin as it is, and as warm as it is, and as light as it is, it is extremely durable. So uh, I don't know the technical aspects of fabric and be honest with you I really don't care I just want it to work so anyway so there's a lighter material along the sleeves here but they have a real heavy material along the elbows and that uh, that's also across the front here uh, one of the things I loved about this is it does have the full kangaroo pouch type pocket uh, I like it because I hate wearing gloves. I can keep my hands together. If I put a hand warmer in there, both of my hands together, my hands stay warmer. I did watch a review where a gentleman said you can wear a pack uh, with this coat and actually pull the waist belt through and cinch it down tight. Uh, I don't think I would be hiking around with this on. It is extremely warm. Uh, it's a little bit noisy, but if you're sitting glassing somewhere uh, or even tree stand probably wouldn't be too bad, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'd be packing with this on, but I definitely would have it in my pack. Uh, heat. You typically lose heat through the sleeves. You lose heat through the neck. Uh, you lose heat around the waistband. Waistband has a draw cord. You can pull it nice and tight. Elastic band around the, the wrist here uh, keeps heat from escaping. I love the fact that it's only a half sip. Most of the heat comes out of the zipper in the front. Half sip, less space. If you get too warm, it opens up real nice. Uh, has the little flap in the inside here to help the heat from escaping. Nice high collar on it, which is also great. Like if you're if you do have a bino harness on or something, it's not rubbing up against your neck. Real big hood. I like the big hood. I'm not a huge fan of hoods, but when I need it, it's nice to have it. I want it to be able to cover my head, cover my ears, keep the wind off the back of my neck. Uh, great product. Now this size, it comes from a small to a 2x I believe is what available this is a 2x and it comes in I think at 28 ounces so really not that bad uh, I got a little bit bigger than I probably need there's a lot of space in here but uh, I just figured I'd be able to slip it right on over top of my clothing if I needed to uh, this fabric is water resistant it says uh, so if you were to take and it starts to rain it will run off if you're out in a torrential downpour you're gonna get wet uh, but it is a synthetic insulation which means even if it's wet the coat will still uh, keep your body heat in so that's why I prefer synthetics here in Pennsylvania uh, the weather could vary uh, I've had days it's you know 20 degrees in the morning and it's 45 50 degrees and rainy all afternoon 
So I try to be prepared. Out west, some areas, you got the same thing, especially if you're in higher elevations. Now, me personally, I've never been above 8,000 feet, uh, and that's been once, unless I was in an airplane. So I want to be prepared for weather changes, climate changes, and I do not want to have to worry about whether I get wet or not. Uh, I will sacrifice a little bit of weight to ensure that I am going to stay warm, uh, no matter if I'm wet or not. So anyways, from Kafaru International, check them out. Uh, most of people know Kafaru from their packs, uh, their shelters. Uh, they probably have one of the best packs on the market right now, but they have a bunch of other little gear, uh, little stuff uh, that uh, high quality. Um, great stuff, so check them out, kafaru.com, the Lost Park Parka. Hey guys, I'm Lou Rosito from gettinglost.com. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, uh, if you could check me out on Instagram, Getting Lost, and also on Facebook, which is also Getting Lost. Uh, please take the time, check out my website, gettinglost.com. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, any kind of feedback, any recommendations, uh, please contact me at lou at gettinglost.com uh, or you can go to the contact page on my website and uh, it comes directly to me and I'd be more than glad to hear the feedback. Once again, I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks.